so now let us consider the second case of uh, serial in and parallel out register as the name indicates the information is sent in, in a serial fashion one flip flop at a time and the output is available at the output parallelly that means at the same time so if you consider four bit uh, register uh, since the information is sent in a serial fashion uh, it takes four uh, clock pulses to send in the information but at the end of the fourth clock pulse the information is available at the parallel output so if you are, if you are uh, uh, input clock frequency is 1 kilohertz it takes 4 kilohertz or uh, or if you would say 1 kilohertz one second is the time so it takes 4 seconds to send the information at the end of the fifth second the output is this is how the construction of the registers is what let us see so in these operations data is entered in a serial fashion and taken out in a parallel fashion data is loaded with the grid but the outputs are disabled as long as that is very important as long as the output is input is streaming in the outputs are disabled as soon as the data loading gets completed all the flip flops will contain the required uh, data and these outputs are enabled so that the data is made available so four clock, four clock cycles are required to load the four bit and the speed of operation is fifth clock pulse the information is available at the end of the fourth clock pulse so speed of operation almost remains the same as it was the case of serial in serial out also so the circuit is slightly different the information is coming in a serial fashion but at the output all the information is at once available so this is a circuit as you can see continuously we are giving high input to the circuits the information is coming out like this and is available at the output so this is how we will be seeing this and this is a working of a serial in a parallel out so slightly different from that but uh, more or less there is no change in the operation operation remains the same